welcome welcome kala amarela to the what's cake channel i am lerato mnisi stolo sala shaban and i am really grateful for all my followers and all my subscribers i truly appreciate the support thank you thank you thank you so much today we are preparing for stew yes it is possible to make a vosh stew and this one is immaculate so these are the ingredients you're gonna need so it's tomatoes green pepper sliced onions and vosh as you see me there i am and put your stove at medium heat please otherwise your wash is gonna overcook and you don't want to overcook it at this stage you really want it to just you know take in the heat simmer a bit there you see me putting in my nice masala masala and it really is a beautiful masala um it's ginger and garlic i highly recommend it so after that i take out the wash put in the onions and carrots and i allow them to cook I just want to say, um, we as people need to start being at peace with where we are in life. But anyway, back to the cooking. I just put in some of the chopped green peppers over there. And you're also just going to allow it to cook for at least a minute. And we see me uh, consistently stirring it up. Then we add our force, the one that we cooked in earlier. You see, it wasn't like well cooked, it was um, half cooked, so that was the reason. So that we're gonna put it back in. So, we actually want the flavors to cook into each other, so it's advisable to just close your pot as you cook just for five minutes or so. Then we then open it again just to stir it up a bit. And you will see here I add my chutney. It is only a tablespoon. However, if you want to make it sweeter, you can add another tablespoon. It is all good. Um, each to your own. Here I am adding our tomato relish. I'm going to allow it to cook also for one minute or so. Then I'm going to close the lid, cook it a bit longer. For at least five minutes again, you can see now it looks a bit well cooked close so that the flavors can mix into each other very well and as you can see it's looking well cooked now we're gonna add our final ingredient that is two beef stocks that i had earlier in warm water just added in there then also i have a tomato ketchup i just added two tablespoons into my pot then close the lid let it cook a bit for one minute then I add my mushroom soup just to make the texture of the, the forest stew a bit thicker. So there are ingredients that I didn't mention earlier. For example, the mushroom soup, the two um, beef stocks that I had in hot water, and the ketchup. So that are some of the other ingredients that you're gonna need. Look at this beef stew, uh, beef stew. <laughs> it looks divine, and not only does it look divine, it tastes delicious. So, I really, really highly recommend it that you try it. And trust me, you are going to love it. Just follow each and every step and just tell me what you think about it because I honestly really love home cooked meals. Everybody that knows me knows I love, 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 love home cooked meals. Thank you for watching.